Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on improving your role, the DPS. For today's video, we'll be playing as the Black Mage. As for why I'm playing as a Black Mage, well, I had to understand on a personal level why they're willing to risk life and limb to stay inside a circle. As a healer, I could never understand why they couldn't just stop for two seconds, move, and then resume their casting. I mean, it should be simple, right? Wait, wait, where do they, where do they go? Ley lines? Ley lines? Oh, baby, I've missed you! Now, DPS can often be the butt joke of the party, but with a few tips, I hope to show you just how important you can be. The first tip is to establish chat dominance. You see, black mages are known for chanting incantations, and so you too must be a chatting workstation. See, people think black mages are easy. <laughs> LOL, what's mana? But actually, we have another resource to focus on. Commendations. These are a DPS's most prized possession. I mean, sure, you could play to the best of your ability and not miss a single opportunity for damage, but we all know most likely the tank slash healer is going to get the comm anyway. Not to say it can't be done, this is just an easier method. The secret is to leaving a lasting impression on your party. You want to be someone who can make others laugh and remember you to give you props at the end of a dungeon for your wit and charm. The hard part is balancing chatting to your party with actual fighting. You want to always at least look like you're doing something. This is why black mages are perfect for this. See that glorious channeling time? That'll give you plenty of time to host your stand-up comedy while you cast that ice cube. Keep in mind never to cast any fire spells, and don't even think about using swift cast or triple cast. Those increase your damage, and we don't want that. More damage means things die quicker, and the more time you have to spend moving about. Although, if you really need some extra time, you can cast Flare to eat up all your MP, giving you the excuse, I'm out of mana, to finish reenacting that scene from the Goonies. If anyone tells you to use Transpose, tell them you forgot to slot it as a roll skill. Compare this to, say, trying to type as a machinist in combat. What is this? How do I even? And you'll have all the time to figure out where your party's funny bone is and to tickle the hell out of it. Another thing that helps to improve your chances is to have a beautiful character. This is especially important as chances are you'll have to compete with the healer to win the waifu war out of your party. As proof, we will use my two characters to demonstrate this. First, we have Sylviette as an astrologian. Note the tribal warrior shaman thing- wait, what is that? What is that glamour even supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know, and I made the darn thing. Now, let's take a look at our comms. Now let's compare this with my other character, Chemistral. Oh dear. But, uh, here's the kicker. I actually heal better on my Astrologian than I do my White Mage. But if you really, and I mean really want to impress your party, this is how you do it. <sighs> Simply magnificent. What's that you say? How many comms does he have? <sighs> I'm afraid I don't have enough time left in this video to recite that number. I'd need, like, five Blizzard 3 casts. <laughs> 